Let's learn how to add optional elements in PNR using cryptic commands and graphical user interface. Let's add email ID with PE cross and email address. Ending with cross of Lorraine hyphen and passenger name number. We will add emergency contact details with number three, CTCM slash phone number. hyphen and passenger name number. Now, add emergency email with number 3 CTCE slash email ID replacing atherate sign with double slashes hyphen and passenger name number. Let's add passport details with number 3 docs slash p for passport slash place of issue slash passport number slash nationality slash date of birth slash gender slash passport expiry date slash surname slash first name hyphen and passenger name number let's add secure flight passenger data with number three docs slash two letter code db slash date of birth slash gender code slash surname slash first name hyphen and passenger name number Add frequent flyer number with FF and airline code. Specify the number, hyphen and passenger name number. Let's request vegetarian meal with number three for letter meal code, hyphen, and passenger name number. Let's add other service information with number three. OSI. Space, airline code, space, and free flow text. Hyphen and passenger name number. Let's add general remark with number five followed by free flow text. Add received from element with number six. Use end item key to combine. End transaction and retrieve command. Use IR command to ignore and retrieve PNR. Now, we will check all the elements added in PNR. Use asterisk with PE to display email data. Use asterisk with P5 to display all the remarks. Use asterisk with P3D to display security info. Use asterisk with P3 to display SSR and OSI elements. To display seat map, use 4G code with segment number and asterisk. Select the desired seat number and click on save. Use asterisk with letter B to display booked seats. Save the changes with received from combined with end transaction and retrieve command. Now, we will add same elements for second passenger using graphical user interface. Click on luggage icon to open trip summary. Either click on add to PNR option or click on record locator. Select option to add email under home tab. Add email address of second traveler. 
and select the name number of traveler. Now, click on Add to PNR. Select the option to add frequent flyer number. Add to letter airline code. Specify the frequent flyer number. And select name of second traveler. Then, click on Add to PNR. Let's add OSI element. Select carrier code. Add free flow text. And click on Add to PNR. Let's add special service request. Click on special meal option. And choose the desired meal code. Select the name of traveler and click on add to PNR. Now, we will add security information. Click on APIS. Select APIS type as docs. Select docs type as passport. Select the name of second traveler. Select the segments. Add passport issuing country code. Add passport number. Add nationality code. Add passport expiry date. Add passenger's date of birth. Select gender. And click on plus sign to add SFPD. Click on Secure Flights option. Select the name of second traveler. Select the segments. Add passenger's date of birth. Select Gender. And click on plus sign to add emergency contact. Click on Email Contact CTCE. Select the name of second traveler. Select the segments. Add the email ID. Click on plus sign to add emergency email. Click on mobile contact CTCM. Select the name of second traveler. Select the segments. Add emergency mobile number. and click on Add to PNR. Security information is added to PNR. Click on Remarks tab to view existing remarks. Click on Option to add new remark. Select Itinerary form remark from the list. Select Segment. Add free flow text. Then, click on Add to PNR. Add Received from Element. Combined with End Transaction and Retrieve Command. Click on PNR under Trip Summary. Click on Email to view all the email IDs in PNR. Display all the frequent flyer number in PNR. Check the OSI elements. Display special service requests. View security information details. Click on Remarks tab to view existing remarks. Type asterisk with letter A. To view PNR in cryptic mode. Use IG command to ignore the PNR.